Good evening. Researchers estimate that by the year 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. We have to ask ourselves, if this is the kind of environment we want to be living in in 30 years, is this the kind of environment we want our children to have to grow up in? How about our grandchildren? We don't want future generations to be impacted by the harmful decisions that we've chosen to make, especially when we have the chance to change our ways and end the pollution now. In my life, I will use the Rotary four-way test of things we think, say, or do to help decrease pollution and increase awareness of more sustainable options that every person can implement into their own routines. Because if we all pitch in, these small changes can collectively make a large difference. Is it the truth that pollution is increasing? Well, an estimated 22 billion plastic water bottles end up in landfills each year. Now, 22 billion is a very large number. So for perspective, if every second of the day represented one plastic water bottle, we would be left with a pile of 697 years. We have a problem that we need to solve. And the first step to solving this problem is to acknowledge it. We must realize that change has to be made now. And that change begins with you and me. I believe living more sustainably is all about preparation, whether that means carrying a reusable water bottle or a reusable plastic straw. Whatever helps you reduce the amount of times you are put into a situation where you have to buy or use a single-use plastic and produce this unnecessary waste. Once I reflected on my own life and habits, I found it an eye-opening experience to see all of the waste that I was responsible for. And what was surprising is that much of this waste had simple solutions. If I had just taken some small steps and time to prepare. One example was my lunch. I realized I was going through upwards of three Ziploc bags a day. Now, I'm not asking you to completely eliminate plastic from your routines. But instead of opting for these Ziploc bags, consider using a reusable container instead. Find these alternative options that over time help you decrease your waste. Is living more sustainably fair to all concerned? Well, many of you may be thinking that it isn't fair for me to ask you to make these changes in your current routines. Because when you hear the word sustainability, you automatically think zero waste. When in reality, it doesn't have to be an extreme. Again, it's all about those small changes. While I do recognize it may initially be inconvenient for you to make these changes, once you do, you'll find them increasingly easier to maintain. We can't just think about ourselves, because our decisions have an impact on how future generations will live. And it's our responsibility to make sure our environment is kept clean. Will living more sustainably build goodwill and better friendships? Well, another way we can reduce pollution is through clothing specifically by avoiding fast fashion, which is cheap and trendy clothing. It includes many name brands and is a leading cause of pollution. According to EcoEnergy, an international organization, the average consumer in 2014 owns 60% more clothing than the average consumer in 2000, while wearing this clothing for half as long. As consumers, not only are we buying more, but we're throwing out more. And the problem with this is that much of this clothing ends up in landfills, where it decomposes and emits harmful greenhouse gases into our environment, depleting our ozone layer over time. So instead of bringing your clothes straight to the trash, consider building Goodwill and donating your items to charity shops like Goodwill. And the benefit with many of these places is that they'll actually donate their proceeds back to the community and back to those who are in need. So your used clothing is funding a good cause. And if that doesn't sound good to you, another option would be taking your items to a consignment store, where they will actually give you money in return for your used items. Give your clothing a second life, instead of having this, these usable clothing items pile up in landfills. My friends and I find it fun to go out on the weekends, 
and see the kind of deals that we can find and the ways that we can reuse and repurpose what would be another person's trash. Truly the adage, one man's trash can truly become another man's treasure. Is living more sustainably beneficial to all concerned? Well, I find personal satisfaction, knowing that I'm contributing to change and that I am able to make a difference in how future generations will live. Because pollution is increasing, and each and every one of us play a role, whether large or small. And we all stand to benefit if we avoid permanently damaging our environment. In my future, I will use the Rotary four-way test of things we think, say, or do to live more sustainably and to encourage others to do the same. Please join me, because together, we can collectively make a large difference. Thank you. <laughs>